welcome to a new series I like to call Struck by Bad Luck. A series where luck doesn't take a back seat to misfortune. It isn't even in the car. Here we dive into the stories of individuals that have been bitch slapped by fate. Get ready to be captivated by the strange and compelling stories of the unluckiest among us. And today, that story that we are focusing on is the misfortune that plagued Mr. Wilmer McLean. For this, we will need to travel back in time, all the way to the 1800s, to a location that we are really close to. Manassas. All right, Manassas, Virginia. That's where we're going. I got cold. All right, so Wilmer McLean was a farmer and a family man who planted his house down in Manassas, Virginia, as I've already said. Now, this was the late 1800s, and if you know anything about the late 1800s, you know that this country had a lot of civil war going on at the moment. So if Manassas, Virginia sounds familiar to you, that's because it's the location of the Battle of Bull Run. You know, this Battle of Bull Run, the first one. Ah! Extra fuzz. My dog likes to make sure that I stay warm. In the midst of all the chaos I was going down on this poor, unfortunate man's property, at one point, a cannonball comes soaring through this man's house. He was stubborn. He didn't leave. Even after that, I'm sure at one point he was just like, hey guys, don't worry. I'll drag this dead body out of my living room. You guys just, you know, keep doing your Confederate things. And you guys know how to get blood stains out of your trousers? Because I don't. You know, I'm just a farmer. I don't really have to deal with this stuff. But, you know, you guys, you guys keep eating my fucking food. It's all right. Our friend finally decided a year later to call it quits. After the sequel came out. The second battle of Bull Run. You know, at this point, this man has had 20,000 plus dead bodies on his property. I'm sure when he stepped out of his front door, but it probably smelled like an evil dead film. Whole full of wafty irony blood just going right into his nostrils probably like listen listen honey it's time to get out of here this really fucking sucks let's uh let's move further south i'm sure the war will avoid us there <laughs> sir wilmer and his family decided to move to appomattox virginia appomattox 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 i'm gonna go with that you think i'd know how to pronounce that since i live nearby uh but yeah, Wilmer and his family moved to Appomattox, Virginia, and I'm sure everything was all nice and dandy, walking around his neighborhood, giving the old howdy-do. Nice to see you, neighbor. Oh, you want some milk? Here's some bread. Good barter exchange going on. Well, it wasn't all sunshines and rainbows. Uh, it eventually turned pretty dark. That's why there's a video about this. So, <laughs> the war did find Mr. Wilmer McLean and his family once again. It, uh, it definitely found Wilmer McLean and his family again. In Appomattox, Virginia, Wilmer's new found property and house actually became the location for General Robert E. Lee to surrender to General Ulysses S. Grant. And, uh, you know, I don't really hear a whole lot about other generals, but I'm sure if you went to public school like I did in America, you are aware of these two people. And one thing I've always thought was funny is uh, they have their first, middle initial, and then last name, which makes me kind of think that one of them was going by, you know, Ulysses S. Grant, and Robert E. Lee was like, that fucker. You know, having his first, middle initial, and last name sounds so cool. It makes him sound so much more important than me. You know what? Don't just call me Robert Lee, General Robert Lee. For now on, Robert E. Lee. So yeah, General Robert E. Lee surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant inside of Wilmer McLean's family's household. Wilmer McLean was even quoted saying, let me make sure I get this quote right. The war began in my front yard and ended in my front parlor. So just to put a little cherry on top of the cake there for Wilmer McLean, after the surrendering was done, both Union and Confederate soldiers got along and started shaking hands and was just like, you know what? Let's jack this man's shit. Run them pockets. And even after all of the furniture, clothing, they even took some art. They didn't think that was enough. One Union soldier is historically put in the textbook as taking Wilmer McLean's daughter's doll. I'm sure he was like, yes, we liberated the South. 
but this little girl's doll. It's mine. Thank you for watching. We now bid farewell to Mr. McLean's two estates that have been war ravaged and looted. Uh, we now come back to normal time. And let this be a reminder that any of us can be struck down with misfortune and just straight up unluck. If you liked it or maybe even loved it, please like it, click that button, maybe subscribe, share it with a couple friends. And also, if you didn't know, I'm a blacksmith. I make knives. I sell them. So if you want to purchase a knife from me or do a custom request, please find me on my business Facebook account, Instagram, or TikTok at Severed Metal Works. That is Severed Metal Works. Thanks.